Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tina, the Thriftaholic, and I'm afraid I'm gonna crick my neck this way. Um, I'm actually uh, going to share my 25 cent haul with you. So I'm a part-time reseller. I resell mostly on eBay and um, I actually had a record day yesterday. I was so happy. I had like 13 sales yesterday. I typically sell about four to five items a day in a, on a good day. So yesterday was an amazing day. Um, anyway, so I go to um, thrift stores and I've gone to the Goodwill bins. Uh, I go to church sales. I go to church thrift shops. Um, just a lot of places. And this one uh, church by me, uh, it's actually about 20 minutes away. They run a 25 cent sale once per month now. And um, I go and they have uh, clothes and hard goods. So um, what I get is usually a mixture of both. So I'm gonna share what I got at the last one with you. And um, you know, we'll look at it together. I haven't unpacked anything since that day. I got it all in this big blue tote, which I actually got from them as well. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna, the, they must have, I guess they packaged all this stuff, the smaller stuff in this bag, so it wouldn't get lost. So we'll go over that stuff first. Um, I tend to not, I don't like to pick up items, even for 25 cents that are only gonna sell for like $10, but if it's unique enough, I don't, a lot of times I don't look it up and I find out later that it's a $10 item, so I'll wind up listing it. But typically I'm really looking for 25 plus as a resale value. So um, I just, there's a possibility that not all this stuff will be that because a lot of times I get to, I go, oh, 25 cents, ah, yeah, throw it in. Um, so this thing was really cool. I'm intrigued to find out if there's resale value to this, but look at this. It's so it's a puppy dog ornament and obviously laser cut out of a computer board. Isn't that cool? So I'm not sure if it has value, but it's got a really big cool factor. Um, if you could see it, see, it's really neat. Um, and then I have a, quite a bit of jewelry here. Uh, I will share with you this little, um, it's a nightlight, stained glass, handmade. That will probably sell for about 15. I'm not thinking I'm gonna get a lot on that. This is um, cloth teak. Oh, it's missing his pin. Oh shoot, I didn't notice that. It's a little Santa cloth teak pin. And you know, I didn't realize, here's a label on it. I'm not sure if I'm holding it right side up or not. Yeah, it says possible dreams limited. And, um, but he's missing, look, he's missing the pin. So I may be able to just glue a pin on him or I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him, but he's pretty cool. 25 cents, whatever. Um, I got this, so th um, a bunch of this stuff is jewelry. I did, they did have quite a bit of jewelry. And um, I picked this up because I thought it was very vintage and I thought it was quirky enough that it would sell. So it's a double strand and I believe these are glass beads, but it's very funky. So I, I think it's going to sell well. Um, I'm probably gonna put it, list it for about $20. It is very vintage, you can see by the metal on there. Um, it To me, it looks like it was probably 50s or 60s um, time period. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm thinking about 20. Maybe I might even put 25 on it so that, you know, if someone's interested, I can offer them at 20. Um, and then these, I think, I don't know whether I just got these for me or figured I was going to put them, um, put them on when we get closer to Christmas again. But I just thought they were really pretty. They were Christmas without being like garish. They say spell out little bells and spell out joy. And so that was a personal item. These are, they're either Napier or Monet. 
Oh no, they're Trafari, I remember now. So these are Trafari post earrings. Nothing really big deal about them. They're enamel, they're red enamel, and they're not clip-ons. Clip-ons would probably have a little more value. The post earrings will probably go for about 12, 15. If they were clips, they might have gone for about 20. They're not crown trafari. They don't have the little crown on top of the T. They're just a street trafari. And then this was um, gold filled. I believe it was 14K gold filled. It is only a little rope bracelet. Um, but the 12 karat gold filled, I could probably sell this for about 15 to 20. So, um, again, not a big, big item. These, all these little, um, uh, jewelry pieces are not going to be expensive, <laughs> but they're fun and they're small. They're easy to list, easy to, um, store. Um, this is a vintage piece. This is a cute little ballerina pin. I thought that was really sweet. So um, I might list it. I might make it into a hair clip. Um, I do make um, hair clips out of vintage jewelry. I'll show you a couple of pieces at the end um, so you can see what I do with them. Some of the stuff I think I bought with that in mind. Um, this might be one of those items, but... Then again, it's probably it's pretty cool on its own, so I'm gonna see first if I can sell it on its own. I don't know. I'm at first I thought it was all right. Let me show it to you first. See, and at first I thought it was um, like that mini mosaic, but now I'm looking at it and it's not. It's like a cheaper made thing. It's um, they're enamel, but they look like almost like Milli Fury or like the little. Italian mini mosaic, miniature mosaic, or I think micro mosaic, that's what they call it. So it's not micro mosaic. I will actually look at it with a magnifying glass and just double check. But um, now upon inspection, I could see that it's not that great. So um, I will probably use this to make hair clips out of, because I can get one, two, three, four, five hair clips out of that. Um, these again, personal, I, I don't think Christmas earrings are going to sell for a lot. So when it gets to Christmas time last year and next year, I just hope I remember that I have these. I don't think they're marked. No, they're not. So they're just little ornaments. Aren't they cute? Isn't that cute? Little dangling ornaments. So I like those. I do not have Christmas earrings. Um, and I used to like to, I used to have Christmas earrings. I used to like to wear them. At one point I had these bells that you clip on that actually ring, but they used to give me a headache. <laughs> so I stopped wearing that. <laughs> um, here's another ornament. And this is a metal, vintage metal ornament, three dimensional. It's got a different toy on the front and the back. It's got a little bell. That doesn't work attached to it. I did not see. Oh, it does have a marking here. Oh, I can't read it. I can't read it because I don't have my other set of glasses. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can find another pair so that I can share with you. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I don't have anything on me. All right. I'm going to try to look that up and I'll put it in the comments. It actually doesn't look like it's that old. If I'm looking at this, oh, it might say 1962. So, so that would be old vintage. I'm going to put that aside so I can look it up. Um, this I got to make into a, a hair clip. It's just like a little, um, pendant. I'm not going to take it out. You could see it through the bag but it's really kind of cute very kind of Victorian looking these I got because I think these will sell uh, I'm not sure I've never seen anything like this before but sometimes when something just speaks to me I pick it up um, they're clip-on earrings 
And to me, they looked vintage. Aren't they cool? I don't know what they're made of. But they both look the same. They're both the same, you know, obviously. They're a matched pair. And I think, uh, I might have something written on there. I don't know if you see something written. It looks like there's some, something engraved on there. I'm not sure if it's writing or, I think it may be writing. All right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break so I can go get another pair of glasses. Hang tight. I'm coming. I'm back. That was quick. Okay. See my double glass routine. This is how I really magnify things so I could see them. Okay. All that for nothing. There is nothing written on these. So that was a wash. I don't know. I can't tell what these are made of. They might just be plastic, but they have like the little sparkle in them. I don't know. I just thought they were very unique. I look really weird with two pairs of glasses on. Okay, in the meantime, or that will allow me to take a look at the date on this. So what is the date on this? 1992, oh, Hallmark. Okay, well, this is a Hallmark ornament, so that's good. Um, but it's 1992, which actually is not bad. That's still vintage, right? It's still like, what, 30 years old? Um, that's awesome and I did grab the hair clip so I could show you um, what I make out of the vintage jewelry these I think will be good these are um, little fruit on like a little straw backing they're very vintage so those are very like 50s 60s um, these are going to be awesome I just feel it in my bones I think these will sell for about $30. So, um, and then a couple more things. And I picked up all this jewelry and I, when I went up to the checkout, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna cost me a fortune. Let me tell you that everything that I bought, everything that you see come out of this box today cost me $15 total. It's amazing. I love this 25 cent sale. I really do. And I can't miss one now. I, I've missed a few in the past, but now I feel like if I don't go, that I'm really missing out. And this I just thought was beautiful. Um, I really don't know if it's going to sell. Um, but it's like a little glass. It's a little print piece behind glass. And on the other side, it says, Then sings my soul. I think that's a line from what? How Great Thou Art, right? Then sings my soul my savior God to be. So that I thought was really cool. I'm not sure. And this is, um, this is going to be made into a hair clip. See, that's really cool with the rhinestones. And this, I wasn't sure. I think I, I just decided to make it into a hair clip. A little starfish. Okay, so now that I've mentioned the hair clips several times, I'm gonna show you what they are. And I could tell you that they're all pretty unique. They're not all one of a kind, because sometimes like with that bracelet, I have several pieces that look the same and I'll make several clips out of them. Um, but a lot of times I'll make pairs out of those. Like out of earrings, I'll make pairs of clips. So I'm gonna show you what those look like. Hey, quick, Tina, quick, quick, quick. All right, because I wanna get through the rest of this box. All right, so for example, oh, these still smell like glue. So there's a clip. And I sell these on consignment at, so there's just like a little alligator clip. Um, let me take off my glasses. You can see, see, you just put them in your hair. They're just like a little adornment. Um, and I sell them at um, the historic Bethlehem Visitor Center on consignment. And like I said, they're all kind of different. 
Here's another one. And there's some that are more bejeweled than others. Here's like one that's like a little rhinestone. And um, I made some with that have hearts for Valentine's Day. That came from a bracelet. So that's my package to be carted up and, and brought over to Historic Bethlehem. Um, yeah, they're on Main Street in Bethlehem. So if you're ever visiting Bethlehem, come buy a hair clip. Um, all right, so that's my commercial. And that's all the little stuff that was in the bag. And then I had this item, uh, which they wrapped up for me, which I'm glad they did because this was one of the more valuable pieces when I looked this one up. Look, even it, when it was downstairs in this in this church, which is the, where the thrift shop is, it was marked 75 cents and I guess nobody bought it down there. So it became part of the 25 cent sale. And this thing will retail, uh, resell for about $40, 40 to $45 I saw this one sell for. It says, thank you heaven for mothers. And it's Sarah's Angels. Oh, if you could see that. And that was put out by who? Just this hand. Oh, Spring, Day Spring? No, Mind Spring, 2002. So if you looked up Sarah's Angels, you would see that one. And here's a little cloisonne planter. I saw this um, actually sold, had sold on eBay, this exact one for about $30. That was a good find. I got these for my girlfriend because she um, makes little candies at Christmas time and gives them to people. So I got her a couple of these. These were 25 cents a piece. Got her four of those. And I got this for myself. If you're a reseller and you're looking for storage for your little items, these are great. They're like a little Lazy Susan. And um, you, know, you have two tiers. You can make the most use out of your space. So I have um, one double tier. I have two double tier ones downstairs already. So this will add to, um, to my other ones. Uh-oh. Got a little damage here, but nothing that can't be. I, I can use that. I'm not going to worry about it. I might have to be careful what I put on this one on the top. I have to put light things, I guess. Or maybe I could fix it somehow. I'll figure it out. Here's another single Lazy Susan. Okay, it's got the spin on the back. So those reach 25 cents. Oh, that double tier one being botched is bothering me now. Okay, and this I got a little punch tin lampshade. It sits on, I'm assuming, a candle, like a Yankee candle. Um, these don't go for that much, maybe about $14, $15 um, at the most, I think. This is a tray, metal tray. This is made by Potpourri Press, which is why I picked it up. Since it was marked, I picked it up. And it says on it what the name of it is. It says Triumphant on there. So that's the name of this pattern. So I can look up the pattern. I think other trays from Potpourri Press that were Christmas were, I think, selling for about 15, between 15 and 20. I think a couple of them went for $19.99, depending on the pattern. I picked this up. This was put out by Amway. It's vintage stationery, and I thought this was an interesting concept. It has a bunch of interior messages, hoping for the quiet joy of a quick recovery. But I think there were also like birthday messages, and then they have choices for the outer card. So you can basically build your own card. You choose the front and you choose the inside. And it's got envelopes. And I'm not sure if it's complete, pretty sure it is. Um, I don't know what this will bring. This was uh, taking a chance. I think maybe $12, $15. If I'm lucky, it's like a rare thing and it'll bring a lot more. Um, this I got for myself. It's a little, it's a knife sharpener. It mounts to the counter. This is like a suction mount to the counter. And then you run your blade through this V right there. Um, it's made by Sunrise Pro. 
so I don't think they went for that much resale but I thought I could I could probably use this myself so that's why I picked that up for 25 cents and I picked up a pair of brand new socks for myself and I picked up an avocado saver <laughs> how many times do you see that this one oh yeah it is marked hold on is it Tupperware no, it says BPA, BPA free. Uh, top rack of the dishwasher. No maker on it. But that's okay because I always get a little, I, I never use a whole avocado. And they, they get, when they're exposed to air, they get that, they get brownish on, I just don't like it. So I'm hoping this solves that problem. We'll see how well it works. It might not seal that well, so it might be a bust, but you never know. All right, then I think the rest might be closed. Let's see. I was very choosy this soon. Oh, no, I got a couple of other things down here. Okay, so I got this dress. This is like a little... I'm going to move you back a little bit, and I'm going to stand up and show you this dress. Now, it's very, um, I don't know, log and look, you know, very unconstructed, but it is vintage. And it's got these pleats under the pockets and they've got these saggy pockets. I don't know, it's a style, okay? It's not my style, but I think it will sell well. And this is the label on it. And I do recognize that label from like the 80s. So I think that will sell well have to wash that and then I got this shirt it's a custom made shirt by a custom tailor in Philadelphia called Ernesto Ernesto and it's a very large size it is very large <laughs> and it's got French cuffs I could tell there was really quality um, uh, in this shirt so I think I could probably get about 40 to 50 dollars for this shirt especially since it's so large I'll have to take some good um, measurements for that when I list it I will probably do a little dry cleaning thing for that um, I don't want to wash it because it looks like it was starched and then this is a Bill's khakis show you that label this label looked like it was probably going to be good maybe about 15 20 dollars nice plaid shirt and what else this is taking a leap i'm not sure um foo fighters um usually you know band shirts are pretty good so um We'll see how this one goes. There's no maker label on it, but it says extra large, although it does not look extra large to me. Um, it might be extra large juniors or something. So um, yeah, I'll see how that sells. And then I got, oh, those were a personal thing. I won't show you those. I got this really pretty sweater. This will probably not sell now until next Christmas season, but it's really pretty glittery and it's Taylor Marks, which I had not heard of, but it looked like this, this particular sweater actually was in there and was selling for about, um, about 20. So that was good. Um, that's basically what I'm looking for when I'm looking for clothes at this 25 cent sale, because it's such a low investment that if I'm at 15, $20, it's like, just like $14 in my pocket, you know? So this is, was there a maker for this? I think I just got this because it was anime. Oh, it was a cute graphic. So girl lounging um, with a drink in her hand and it says, what does it say? Bot bar, right there, it says bot bar. It didn't have any attribution for the graphics, no dating, nothing like that. So I'll just have to be one of those things I just list and see how it does. Um, this looked like 
I guess it's Scandinavian. It's got the Norwegian, that's a Norwegian flag, right? And it's got a foreign word on it, which I don't know what that means. <laughs> so I picked this up on a whim to see if it would sell. And uh, I'll let you know, you'll see if I do a sold video and it's in there. <laughs> that it was a good item. All right, and this is a vintage hat. I think this will do very well. I'm just gonna take the glasses off so you can see how this looks. So it stays on like that. I know it looks a little odd on me, but I can't see how well. Yeah, so it's really kind of cute. Obviously it would have a different hairdo in the day. I think it's like maybe 40s and it's velvet with like this pink brocade and a, the feather could use a little bit more oomph, but, and it could use some shaping. So I may try to steam it and shape it on the mannequin head, but I thought this was cool for a quarter. I mean, I think I could probably get about $40 out of this. Okay. This I got for myself from my desk. <laughs> this is, I don't know. I'm going to see if it, it will sell. I'm not sure of it, but it's a post-it notepad holder. So you put it in, put the post-it notepad in there. It's supposed to be the one that goes, like it's sticky on this side, then it's sticky on this side, and you pull it and it accordions. Um, but I thought it, that was pretty cool. It's made by Post-It. <laughs> it's an actual Post-It branded Post-It note holder. I guess it's got sand in it because it makes noise. Um, I got this cute little skirt, Banana Republic. I have sold quite a few skirts and pants um, in my store, so I'm always kind of on the lookout for good ones. And then this is a nice um, 3X top. It's very fancy, so I thought this will do well. Um, a lot of times large size, fancy sells. Fancy and loud sells, so it's got the bling and everything. So, um, let's see how that does. And this, I thought, I, I saw it and I thought, this is going to be special. It's called a Joseph Ribkoff is the label. And with all the, um, pleating and ruching and gather, and I think this will look really nice on the mannequin. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that sells. I did see some other Joseph Ribkoff items sell for a good money, so. Sorry about the angle of this video. That was a little odd. Um, this I bought because it's a beautiful vintage slip. Again, I'm gonna move the camera back a little bit so you can see the whole thing, but. Um, yeah. Isn't that pretty? It's really pretty. It's uh, like a soutache and it's on the bottom too. It's really beautiful. This is back when slips really looked like dresses of their own, right? I bet you someone would wear this as a dress. Um, back in the day, in my 20s, <laughs> I might have attempted that. <laughs> Not anymore. But um, yeah, it's really pretty. So I think I could probably get about um, $25 to $30 from that. And then this was one of the first things I picked up. This one, the name of the maker is Andrew Mark. And this is a leather bag. And can I tell you, it is very heavy um, without anything in it. And it's that distressed leather. I think this is going to do very, very well. So I think there's a possibility that that's even got the marking on it, right? Branding. And I think this will probably sell for about 80. That's my assumption. At the very least, 50. But it's got a lot of hardware detail on it. And this is even a pocket. So on the side, it's really nice. Um, and what else do I have? I only have a couple more things, guys, believe it or not. Oh, this I think I bought for personal use because in case you couldn't tell, I really love infinity scarves. <laughs> I wear them all the time. So let's see how this one looks. So 
nice and light. Oh, it's cute. Oh, I like that. All right, I'm gonna wear that the rest of the video. And, which isn't gonna last that long, I tell you, because this is my last item. So this, this cracked me up, because I did look this up when I was there. And it says Pfizer on these little pills, right? So I looked this up and I'm looking up Pfizer pill necktie. And this is brand new. And, oh, it said Pfizer right on the label, right? Well, when I looked it up, all I kept seeing was Pfizer Viagra tie. So I guess this is the little blue pill, right? So those are little Viagra pills. <laughs> so anyway, I think this will probably sell for about 20 bucks. And it's brand new and packaged, so can't complain about that. And that's everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and this unpack. And um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what I can make from my $15 investment. I, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I'm going to hit at least $100. Um, more likely, about $150. Um, if everything sells, you know, or I shouldn't say if when everything sells. So um, join me again uh, for the next time. I do have a couple of things. I I think I've, I've done a couple of very cherry picked thrift store visits where I'm not buying a lot of things because I have this whole stack of stuff to list yet. Um, and I did just come from a silent auction where I won some things. So I will share that with you too. Um, so stay tuned. Next week, I will bring you some more. And I will probably tomorrow throw up a little, um, oh, that sounded awful. Put up on my channel the sales from yesterday. Okay, so have a great day. Happy hunting, everyone.